what's going on YouTube, GFN right here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to bypass the iCloud activation lock for devices that you bought secondhand if you got scammed, for example, on eBay or Craigslist or whatever, and the device turned out to be locked. It's unfortunately a pretty common occurrence, and that's how a device would look like. It says, for example, this is an iPod Touch. This is iPod Touch locked to the owner. Now, what they would do on eBay and Craigslist and stuff like that, they would sell you the device and they would tell you that the device is actually unlocked, but then you would end up setting it it does have an account and at that point they either vanish or they ask for extra money in order to remove the device from their account so it's a pretty common scam and if you have a compatible device i'm going to show you how to use any unlock to fix that now any unlock is available for both windows and mac os a free trial is available and i do have a full guide in here on how to use it as well if you want to check it out on iDeviceCentral.com. now the official website imobi.com also has great guides on how to use this but let's get into the action so this is a lock device that I have it's my device that I uh, purchased and it says it may take a few minutes to activate the device but then it shows this now the compatibility for this tool I'm going to show it in a minute but the tool looks like this it's a multi-purpose tool and it has screen passcode unlocking feature if you forgot your screen passcode it also has the Apple ID unlocking feature if you forgot that then you can remove the iTunes backup encryption unlock the screen time passcode if you forgot that as well sim lock which is pretty common, especially if you're buying devices from a different country, like from eBay, bypassing MDM, and of course the activation lock. And that's exactly what we're going to use today. There's also the more tools over here that you can use. These are additional tools you may find useful, including iDevice verification, which gives you good information about the device itself and the battery and so on. But in order to fix this, essentially what you would have to do is to plug the device into the computer, like I did over here. This is connected via the USB cable, then press the bypass iCloud activation lock over here. Now I'm going to press the start now and it will try to detect the device most likely which will take a few seconds and yeah there you go it says quickly bypass iCloud activation lock screen it says the product type is the iPod touch 7 generation which is the latest it's not jailbroken so this works even if your device is not jailbroken and we can say bypass now over here but before you do that it's best if you go ahead here on the terms of use and you read them because there are some limitations with what you can do with the device after the bypass for example this will not fix the cellular connection you cannot use a sim card on the device it's unfortunately a limitation of all iCloud bypass tools and this one is one of them. Now you should also not reset the device after you bypass it because it can relock and I'm going to agree with those and press the bypass now. So it instructs us to put the device in DFU mode and the uh, instructions here on the screen will be different depending on what kind of device you have. I'm going to follow mine, you're going to have to follow yours and I'm going to be right back once it's in DFU mode. All right, so now the device is in DFU mode, it says bypassing iCloud activation and this will take a while the device may restart a couple of times during this procedure it's perfectly normal and you will see a lot of text running on your screen which is essentially the device booting into Pongo OS part of the checkmate so now it's a good idea to mention the compatibility of this tools so the iCloud feature works very well with checkmate devices it also supports newer devices but for other features like MDM and resetting the device and various other things but for the the iCloud feature it only supports older devices like the iPhone 10, the iPhone 8, 8 Plus, 7 and so on. So essentially any Checkmate device, any device compatible with Checkrain or Pelrain jailbreak will work, right? So this is the compatibility for iCloud unlocking. So iPhone 5s all the way up to iPhone 10 and iPhone SE first generation, iPad mini 4, iPad Air 2 and so on. So these devices would work well all the way up to iOS 16.7.2 on Mac OS and iOS 16.3 on Windows. So let's go ahead and see how the device is doing. It's iCloud activation lock is bypassed successfully. So let's see. I'm going to connect the device and show you exactly how it looks like now. As you can see, it says welcome to iPod. Now we press get started and yeah, the device is now fully functional. You can open the applications and they would work. And um, yeah, I have previously deactivated this device for testing purposes, but it's now fully activated and you can use it like any other device. You will not be able to use this with stuff like a SIM card or placing calls, receiving SMS messages and whatever. Other than that, the device should be fully functional. So that's essentially it. That's how you use this tool, any unlock, in order to bypass iCloud activation. For MDM, it's as simple as going here and you have two options 
options, bypass MDM and remove MDM. And you can of course choose, for example, the bypass MDM over here. And you press the bypass MDM button. And um, you have to make sure that you turn off find my iPhone, which is necessary before you can do this. The iDevice verification feature is also interesting. If you click in here and you press verify device now, it will actually go ahead and verify every component on the device that you can get. So it will give you serial numbers and activation, whether it is jailbroken, whether Apple ID lock is on, battery life and charging times, so charging cycles, Wi-Fi, Mac IDs, capacity, whatever. So if you want to see if the device had components swapped, for example, or if it's made out of different parts, this is a good way to check a device you bought. Anyway, the program, as I said, is available down below. A free trial is available and you can get it for both Windows and Mac OS. It also supports iOS 26 for various features on the program, but not for the iCloud bypass, at least not for now. That's essentially it. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.